Okay, let's finish up the day um, talking about uh, conjugate acids and conjugate bases. Uh, so, like what we started the day with. Um, so, if you look at these two reactions, what we're trying to do is find the conjugate uh, pairs and determine which one's the conjugate acid and which one's the conjugate base and which one's the acid and the base, okay? So normally, what you'll do is you look at um, uh, the reactants and if something has an acidic proton, so a proton that's attached to like an oxygen or a heteroatom, it's going to be acidic. Uh, that's going to probably be the acid, okay? So, in this case it is. The thing that has a negative charge will almost certainly be the base, okay? That doesn't always work out as we'll see in the bottom problem down here. But, the way to confirm that is to see what happened on the other side, okay? This thing lost the proton, right? Because it went from being HCOOH to HCOO minus. So that must have been the acid then, because acids lose protons. So then that must mean this is the conjugate base. Okay? And then, of course, this is the conjugate acid since it being the proton. And you can tell that from looking here, CN minus, and comparing that to HCN. The bottom one gives a different example, a kind of weird example, where the positive thing actually becomes more positive, okay? So, at first glance, you might think, well, this is going to be the acid, because it doesn't want to have that positive charge. So, um, that's a good thing to think about first, but you've got to look at the whole thing, okay? So look at what happened to the reaction. Well, this gained positive charge, this lost positive charge, right? So this thing must be the acid. This is sulfuric acid, very strong acid. This is why it's happening. So this is the acid. Uh, this is the acid because this is its conjugate base. It lost that proton. Okay? This is the base because it's gaining a proton. Okay? So it doesn't always work out that the positive thing is the acid. Okay? But it's a good rule of thumb. Okay? So this would be the conjugate acid. Why? Because if we looked at it the other way, right, it's donating the proton. Is that cool? Everybody good with that? Okay, good. Get out of here.